Hello all, I want to do a video today and show you guys my 1988 Suzuki Samurai. Alright, it's raining, I'm going to try to do this video without getting my camera wet or getting too soaked myself. So, Alright, here she is, one heck of a unit right here. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll start out by just giving you a kind of an overview of, of the Suzuki Samurai. It's got a 1.3 liter motor in it, I think it's a 80, cc, 80 cubic inch, 79 cubic inch I do believe. It's got a 66 horsepower. All right, I was gonna say ponies, but these aren't no little Shetlands here. I mean, these are some, these are some pretty hardcore equestrians. I'm talking like Marlboro smoking, Budweiser drinking, freaking Clydesdales here. These are like, these are like your little buddy that's like five seven, but it's like got the heart of a lion and can just fight like hell. That's <laughs> that's a definition of a Suzuki Samurai. That, well, that's a pretty good definition of a Suzuki Samurai, I guess. Okay, first I'll just show you an overview of my rig here. And I'll, I'll go over a couple little mods I did. See, I'm a, I'm a pretty large individual. I'm a quarter inch from being six foot seven. So I'm six foot six and three quarters. So it's pretty hard for me to, you know, justify buying such a small vehicle in the first place. But then once I seen how, how good they went, you know, out in the trails and fitting through four wheeler trails and such and pretty much go anywhere I, I had to have one i mean they are like the swiss army knife of little four-wheel drives i'm pretty partial to toy toyota four-wheel drives most of my rigs i've always had kind of toyotas but you know the, these little these little suzukis just impress the heck out of me they bounce around and get freaking anywhere all right here's some some basic mods i've done put these uh big horns on it i, I they believe they're 255 i've never really been a real big fan of Max's Bighorns, but they seem to be really good on this rig. Just pretty versatile, drive good on the road, and heck, they grab good, and yeah, that, I, they'll never wear them out. I mean, the rig's 2,100 pounds. It's going to be pretty hard to wear out a set of tires. So, you know, and like I said earlier, 66 horsepower, you ain't doing no flaming burnouts or nothing. Okay, I'll go over here and try not to get my camera wet and show you guys the interior. All right, I did some seat modifications. I dropped everything down. I'm like I was saying, I'm just a just a little bit shy of six seven. So I mean, I, it, I had to do some seat modifications. My girlfriend, she's six foot tall too, so it's pretty tough for us to fit in a small rig like this. But you know, as you can tell, I fit pretty good. Yeah, I got my little gun holster here. That's a pretty neat little addition. I'll pop the hood. I'll let you guys see the see the heart, the powerhouse of her. All right, come up here. All right, here she is, the 1.3 powerhouse. You see, here's another mod I did. This is the stock boot that comes down to the air cleaner here, and I, I got this off a of three liter Tacoma, just a 90 there, and I put a K and N on it. Built a little shroud there so water won't go shooting up in there, and it actually did give it a little bit more bottom end, maybe. Not not a hundred percent sure, but it kind of feels like it, which it could be a placebo. Who knows? All right, I bought this rig, seven hundred dollars, and uh, the guy said transfer case was out in it. Go ahead and check out the last video I put up, and it'll it'll show you guys how I fixed the transfer case in it. So once I read it, okay, it's the transfer case is out in it. I was like, well, you know, seven hundred bucks, I could. Heck, I could sell the axles and the motor and all that if it's all good, if it's a good unit. And either that or just pick up a transfer case, throw it in it. I mean, it's just a tiny little, I mean, you could one hand pick up these transfer cases inside here. So I, I went down, I got it, 700 bucks. Great purchase, I guess. The guy before me, his grandpa went through and rebuilt the motor and such some odd years ago. It's pretty rusted. It's beat up you know it's got patches on it and stuff but for what i was going to use it for i couldn't have found a better candidate i mean i'm going to go up in the hills and try to squeeze through four-wheeler trails and stuff you know somewhere i don't want to take my nice toyota and such so i take this and and it's pretty neat you start to get stuck in this thing you just start rocking back and forth and it seems to grab and go and it is it is freaking incredible the places you can go with this thing okay yeah i guess there was 2.8 million of these sold in 194 countries across the globe. They called them the SJ413 in the beginning, I do believe, and then around 87 or so they started calling them Samurais here in the States and 
Jimneys across seas, which over overseas it's they are uh, they're part of the Japanese K car, which the K car it's under a certain amount of pounds. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's around it's around 2,000 pounds, and uh, they came with a 660 660 cc motor in them. And when I heard that, I was like, wow, you know, you got to be kidding me. But then, then I drove one with a 1.3, and I was like, oh, I can see how a, a turboed 660 cc motor would get this thing around pretty good. And that top end wraps got to be pretty crazy. If you got one of those 660 cc motors in yours, you know, drop a comment. Tell me how you like it. You know, is it, is it peppy? Have you ever drove one of these 1.3s? Is it comparable? Yeah, I'd kind of like to know. And, uh, you know, so a bunch of my buddies. They've got samurais and stuff, so it's pretty cool when they're going on a trip. Hey, man, you want to go on a samurai run? Now I've, I've got a samurai. I can go out and try to make it through these four-wheeler trails with them. It's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, my buddy, my buddy Jeff, he's got one. It's got a 1.6 stuffed in it. And, uh, yeah, that's it's pretty, pretty freaking impressive, especially compared to my 1.3, which I'm not knocking on it. That, that 1.3 gets this thing around perfectly fine. And uh, I've also drove one with a 2.4 2RZ motor in it. Holy heck. Talk about power to weight ratio. It's just freaking insane in that thing. I felt like I was in a in a damn sports car or something. It was it was freaking insane. Of course, I put a hole in the radiator out. I'm just going too hard on it out at the dunes, but man, it, it was a blast. I don't I don't think you'll let me drive it again though. Yep, I picked this rig up 700 bucks. I put I put probably 75 bucks worth of that spray on flex seal stuff just to kind of make it one color because it's blue and had some red on the doors and it's you know been painted with house paint and such and i put some stickers on it and like i did the seat modification and the air filter put the tires on it but other than that man i just i did an oil change and uh, you know went through the diffs and all that made sure everything was good before i took it out just you know kind of preventative maintenance and uh yeah, and it's been heck of a rig. Been impressing me every time I take it out. I'll actually, you know what? I'll hop in it and I'll let you guys hear these these Clydesdales. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a dummy, and I left my window open on my last transfer case video, so I came out this morning and do this video, and yeah, my seat soaked, so I got my bibs on my seat here. Okay, you got to turn the key, and then I got this little race start button over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pretty nasty. Well, like old zip ties and blyas ply says, let's put her in the catch up. Yeah. I hate riding his nuts, but it's a great saying. That guy is a freaking filthy linguist. Like <laughs> it's crazy, you know. I used to be watching South Park and such, you get a, a view of Canadians being weird. Now with all these YouTube videos coming out, man, there's some freaking funny guys up there. It <laughs> kind of makes me want to go up there or whatever and stuff, just kinda hang out. I'll go to a bar or something. It'd be a pretty good time, I think. Yep, this is my Samurai here. Great little rig. You know, if you need something or you want something to go beat on the trails and pretty much get you anywhere and take you home. Because, I mean, Suzuki, they did... Everything seems pretty small and stuff like that. But it seems like they overbuilt the heck out of this thing. It's it's pretty tough to break it. Even my buddies are running 32s, 33-inch tires on them, and they're still having no problems. It's, it's freaking impressive. Okay, so yeah, if you want if you want a pretty much versatile, in a squeeze anywhere, go anywhere type of rig, go out and try to find one of these Suzukis. You can pick them up fairly cheap. Like I was saying, I'm I paid seven hundred for this altogether. I'm around eleven hundred dollars with the tires and such into it, and you can't find a better rig for around eleven hundred dollars than this, in my opinion. I mean, it will go the places this thing will go. I mean, sure it'll you'll feel like you were definitely four wheeling at the end of the day i mean this thing it's like you were riding a horse all day or something it'll it'll beat the heck out of you but man it'll beat you up with a smile on your face the whole time okay well go back and check out my transfer case fix video that's my last one and you know maybe check out some of the other ones you like what i'm doing here just hit that subscribe button it brings good luck i hear <laughs> okay have a good day